What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my top five proven products for March, 2022. When I say proven products, then what I mean are products that are currently being advertised today. So all of these products are current and up to date and they're being sold very successfully. To prove this to you, I'm gonna be showing you the Facebook ad that's currently advertising them. And I'm also gonna be showing you all the information and giving you all the information you need to go out and start selling these products today and capitalize in March. So this is gonna include the actual Facebook Facebook ad which is currently selling these products really successfully. We can of course use this to generate our own ad copy ideas and take inspiration from. We're also going to be taking a look at the Shopify store selling these products too. So again we can take their product pages for inspiration. We can look at the design and theme and layout that they're currently using and then of course we can take their product descriptions and then we can use tools like WordTune to generate our own product descriptions. We will also be taking a look at the supplies that are selling these products so you know exactly where to source them from. We'll of course be going over the profit margins and recommend retail prices so you know exactly how much profit you'll be making per sale and last but definitely not least we'll be going over my recommended Facebook ad interests to target and so with that being said then guys thanks for tuning in I hope you guys enjoy this one and let's jump straight into it okay so here we are product number one one of my favorite products actually that I'm going to feature in this video and um, there's a few reasons in why I wanted to feature it number one it's like a brand new product I've not seen this product up until now and the guys that first started selling this started selling in December 2021 so super fresh super brand new to Facebook um, which obviously translates into there being a lot of potential for it. Number two is it kind of combines a niche that loads of people are really passionate about. Um, so it's a pet astronaut lamp. You can get a dog one and a cat one. People are obviously super passionate about their pets. So it's a really passionate niche, which is really good for getting attention. Um, and I'm going to show you this in a second when we take a look at the actual Facebook ad itself. And the third reason why I really like this product is because I believe it matches that ideal demographic of Facebook really, really well. So so the average demographic, the average user age, I should say, sorry, of Facebook is ever increasing. Um, at the moment, it's in and around sort of 40 or 45, something like that. I'll try and find a screenshot to put up now. Um, and when people hit that age, they tend to have quite young children or they have children, which is where I believe a product like this would be ideal for because it can be used as a nightlight and it's kind of that cutesy type thing that um, children would enjoy as well. Anyway, with that being said, then let's take a look at the actual validation of this product. Um, Dropspy is a great tool for doing this. So we can see that these guys started advertising back on Wednesday, December 15th, and the last seen date was actually Tuesday, the 1st of March. So this just goes to show it is a current up-to-date product and it is being sold successfully today. Something else we can also see, if we take a look at the likes and shares over the course of time, over this period of time, we can see because there's dots for each and every single day, it means it's been ran each and every single day. And because there's a slight increase as well over time, that's a great sign. If there's a slight increase, it shows that the people that are seeing it is constantly increasing and if it's constantly increasing then somebody is paying to run this as an ad more and more people are seeing it and people don't pay for ads over this length of period of time unless they're bringing in a profit let's now take a look at the Facebook ad itself if you're looking for a product that's super easy and super quick to get started with then this has got to be top of the list as we can see the video itself is only 10 seconds long if we go back to the beginning it's literally somebody just taking it out of the box and it's just showing different kind of b-roll type footage and uh, doesn't feature anybody's face doesn't feature anybody talking about the product and I actually found a supplier which has some of this content which means you could take this very same ad or this very same content chop it up put your own spin on it um, and be advertising this product in a matter of hours having good engagement though is not enough to be featured on my YouTube channel to be featured on this list there has to be evidence that people are actually buying this product not just evidence that people are engaging because engaging and actually buying the products is of course two different things so if if we have a look down into the comments section what we're looking for is what I'd like to call buyer's intent or buyer's evidence so somebody asking if they deliver to Ireland so that's buyer's intent it's showing that they're looking to buy the item um, Valerie here is saying she's an adult and she wants one um, so that's kind of like buyer's intent I'm looking for something a bit stronger though if I'm being honest um, so Stephen Hudson has just said he's just ordered for my son he will love it so that is buyer's evidence what I like to call buyer's evidence it shows that somebody and people are actually buying this product Next up then, let's take a look at the supplier for this product. So we can open up our links in our Google document here, and it's gonna take us to once it finally loads up on this particular supplier. 
So what's really good about this product is it comes in three different variations. There's an electronic, which plugs into the wall. There's rechargeable, which is rechargeable, um, and there's no electronic. So what this one is, is basically a battery powered lamp. The one that's being currently sold on their website and doing so well, I believe is currently a battery powered one too, because I saw in the comments and in the description, people were asking what type of batteries it takes. So they're selling the cheapest one at $15 and selling it for $40. Now, before we move on to the profit margins, we've got to acknowledge the type of store that's currently selling this it's a super um, basic without being too harsh um, it's quite an amateurish looking store if I'm honest the look they're using the Brooklyn theme however they are obviously making money they wouldn't be paying to advertise this product for that length of time if they weren't making money so my advice to anybody looking to sell this product would be to take inspiration from these guys but invest in some better ad copy and invest in a paid theme and by doing this you're going to significantly increase your conversion rate and therefore you're going to significantly increase your profit margins i would also give people the option of buying a rechargeable or electronic version. I've sold battery powered products in the past and I used to get quite a lot of comments of people saying that they're not the most um, environmentally friendly things. They would much prefer a rechargeable version. With that being said, we can jump into the profit margins. So we just saw we can buy the cheapest one for $15.72. In fact, I think that might make quite a nice kind of upsell offer at checkout. It could be, hey, you could buy the battery powered version for $15 or for $40, sorry, but for an extra $10, then you can get the rechargeable one. So $15.72 is the cost. We saw they were successfully selling it at $40, which leaves a very nice profit margin of $24.17 per sale. As for my recommended Facebook ad interests, I would start with pet ones. So ones related to dogs, one related to cats. I would separate these by ad set. I wouldn't try and combine both of these audiences into one because you can't necessarily get control over whether a dog owner or a cat owner is going to see your ad. You could combine them as well, um, narrow it down using astronaut um, and the kind of like space exploration related interests to really capture people who have pets and have an interest in that sort of thing. And then as a kind of like a third thing you could test is a combination of people who are routinely buying things from Facebook ads. And to do this, you can target interests such as online shopping and engaged shoppers. And so with that being said, that just about covers product number one. I hope you enjoyed it and let's move on to product number two. Moving on to product number two is this crib backpack. Um, it has a significantly crazy amount of engagement. It has over 11,000 shares. Uh, before I show you the Facebook ad though, um, let's go into the reasons why I like this product so much. So number one is that it's an evergreen audience. Obviously it's for mothers who are expecting or mothers who have young children. Um, that doesn't just limit it, limit it sorry that doesn't just limit it to mothers who would buy this product um, i definitely think tags and grandparents which you can do on facebook would be a good option to go over to or a good option to try a good option to test because it is an evergreen audience um, it's the sort of thing which would sell all year round so if you are looking for a product that isn't going to dip or spike in popularity throughout different times of years and you've got to kind of change the products in which you're selling I definitely think a product like this is a good one or a good option to try because it will sell all year round the next reason why i like this product so much is because it solves a genuine problem which real life people have it sounds silly but there's a lot of power to that um, if you can sell a product that's quite unique and never really been seen before um, then it carries a lot of um, power online and carries a lot of attention and if you think if the average person on Facebook has about 200 friends and this has 11,000 shares I'll try and do the maths in my head but that's got to be in and around I think 2 million people that will have seen this ad for free just through people sharing it um, that's if my maths is correct feel free to correct me um, in the comment section below that being said then let's jump into facebook and take a look at the actual ad itself that's advertising this backpack um, i have watched this before it's a super good ad i can tell that these guys have been selling this for a while quite successfully so they've decided to invest in their own content um, which going forwards pays dividends in my opinion all social media platforms whether it's facebook instagram tiktok um, much prefer original content um, that way they can keep people's news feeds fresh so regardless of what products you're selling that would be kind of like a side tip from this video if you like is that if you have the budget and the time to do so definitely consider investing in some original content as per the previous products though engagement is one thing but we want to try and find buyers intent or evidence of people actually buying this product so let's go into the comments then 
we are currently looking at the most relevant you tend to get the kind of like the most important ones and the most relevant but we can of course go to newest as well to see how recently people are still commenting on this so we can see that somebody commented 12 minutes ago um, which is a great sign it shows that this again this this ad is still current and there's people still seeing it so 50 minutes ago an hour ago two hours ago 18 hours ago so there's they are still paying a significant amount of money um, to advertise this product judging on how many people are actually commenting on it um, so quickly or so recently I should say. If we go back to most relevant then and let these open up let's try and find some people who have bought it. So I ordered a grey one yesterday for my daughter who is four months pregnant and hoping it's all it says it is so that's pretty much exactly what I said earlier on um, grandparents buying it for their kids who are having kids um, I would have loved to have this when I was a new mum just bought it for my daughter so again there's another grandparent buying this product just purchased for my daughter just ordered this best idea I've seen so far nice bag I'm going to get it and um, this is cool this is cool where are these shipped from my husband and i ordered one for our new granddaughter um so again another grandparent actually ordering this product so it just goes to show that people are ordering this product um and it's a great product that's current next let's take a look at the supplier so this one's currently on aliexpress there's lots of different versions of the product but the middle price is about 28 dollars 35 if i was going to go ahead and sell this product myself i'd definitely try and get maybe 30 to 40, maybe 50 orders kind of under my belt, then I'll be approaching a supplier and say, hey, look, I'm selling a pretty decent amount of these. Give me a better price. I definitely think you could get them down closer to $20. Even so, if we take a look at the profit margin selling or at a cost to us at $28.35, I've put the recommended retail price at $60. If we take a look at what these guys are selling it for, they're selling it for $78. They're getting a pretty nice chunk of money per sale. Um, but even so, selling it at nearly $15 cheaper still leaves a really good profit margin of over $30, which is brilliant on the front end. Of course, with this type of niche, there's so many different upsell products to offer. You could definitely bump up that profit margin on the front end. Let's take a look at the store itself then. Again, in my opinion, this could definitely be improved. We can see using our Shopify our Koala Inspector tool, they're currently using the debut theme. Um, so it looks okay with a paid theme in my opinion it could look much better um, given the amount of money that these guys must be making i'm surprised that they're not using a custom or paid theme just to kind of bump up that conversion rate but just goes to show i'm not going to argue too much with them they obviously know what they're doing um, based on how many people have seen that ad and how much engagement it actually has to finish this product off then let's go over the facebook ad interests that i recommend um, as i mentioned earlier and as we saw in the comments itself it seems to be grandparents which are buying this product so i'd definitely be targeting grandparents parents and new grandparents you can actually target new parents too that have children 0 to 12 months i think be i think they would be sorry um, a great audience to go for as well as parents with toddlers so i think that is one to three years old so definitely something i would consider testing myself and then to finish off i've put johnson's baby it's obviously quite a big baby brand i wouldn't stop there i would also test all the other different baby brands um, also and so that's product number two now complete if you're still with me still watching this video i really do appreciate it make sure you let me know by hitting a like on this video or leaving a comment down below thanks again and let's jump into product number three okay so moving on to product number three before going into the reasons actually of why i like this product let's take a look at the facebook ad itself because you might not be 100 percent sure um, exactly what it is or what it does so let's jump onto facebook and just quickly watch the ad a little bit here so from what i gather it's kind of like a belt in which you put around um, your midsection or your lower back area and it works kind of like when they take your blood pressure at the doctors you can kind of pump it up to a tightness um, or to a fit in which kind of gives you that support in which you're looking for um, and all in all i just think an absolutely brilliant product not just for to make money with but I think a brilliant product that has a genuine benefit to people in terms of improving their quality of life. So if we head back into Dropspy, again, this was another ad I found using Dropspy, brilliant tool in my opinion. Um, if we take a look at the post creation date, it was back on December 29th, 2020. So this product has been going for quite a significant amount of time and it was last seen again today, March 1st. So it just goes to show an evergreen product which will sell all year round um, and will sell for a considerable significant amount of time. There's always gonna be more and more people suffering with back pain and that sort of thing. So even if you start selling this today, you're still gonna have customers in 12 months, 24 months, 36 months time. Again though, as with every product, we are looking for buyers intent 
or buyer's evidence. In fact, I'm not sure I've mentioned the engagement so far. I think this one tops the video so far. Um, 22,000 reactions, 4,000 comments, and nearly 9,000 shares. When you see posts that have a significant amount of shares like this one, it's usually because people want to share it with people because there's a genuine benefit or they think there will be value in sharing something with someone. So it just goes to show how much people really do in fact like this product. I really like this strategy as well, which this company has adopted in by making sure that you're at the top of the page by posting something positive and a review of a previous customer who's bought the product is a great way to do this if we carry on scrolling down though we can see some more positive comments from real people so somebody who suffers with sciatica is truly kicking her ass by the sounds of it um, but she goes on to say that this belt works which is great um, i've used all kind of things this belt works i used it religiously for about three weeks um, i just want to say this brace really does work Debbie's saying that she loves this belt. 17 hour drive to Florida with no back pain. Ken is saying it works great. David is saying that the best and most effective back brace. When people see an ad and they go into comments sections um, and see things like this, this will drastically, drastically, drastically improve how much people trust you, how much people click your ad and how much people actually buy your product as well. Let's take a look at the supplier on AliExpress. Um, to be honest, I pretty much chose the first one. It's quite an expensive product. You could definitely get it cheaper once you've got some traction and a relationship with a supplier. Um, so $30 give or take. To be honest, if you search for decompression belts, you'll find lots and lots of different suppliers. So it's just a matter of choosing one which has the best price best shipping um, to the country in which you want to sell this product in. As for the Shopify store, which is currently selling this product, they don't do a too bad job, to be honest. It looks okay. It probably looks better on a mobile device, in fact. Um, what they do really nicely is they have these kind of, um, these GIFs and images, which really, like in a really illustrative fashion, um, if that makes sense, kind of demonstrates the benefits of what this product is and what it does and really helps convert people and help people believe or think of how this product could help them. What they also do quite nicely to help people kind of believe and trust in this product is they have these different kind of trust badges, so 30 back um, guarantee, but then they also have this number one recommendation by experts, doctors and chiropractors put their trust in us, decompression therapy, more than four grand a year for blah, 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 so on and so forth. So they've really put some thought and put some time and effort into developing a product page that really kind of speaks to the pain points that the customer could be experiencing. That being said, then let's jump into the numbers and see how profitable it can be. The cost, as we just saw, is in and around sort of 32 92 depending on which supplier you go with. The RRP, I've put at $70. These guys, I think it converted into pounds. It did at 58 pounds, but before the page kind of fully loaded, um, in fact, let me see if I can see it again. Go straight to 58, but before it converted, it was at $75 basically. So we could undercut them by $5, which still leaves a very healthy profit margin of $37.07. As for the Facebook interests that I would target, I think naturally Facebook is gonna like fish out the ideal people for this product because Facebook's average user age is increasing and it tends to be as people get older, they suffer with back pain and things like this. But just to kind of add to the mix, you can also target interests such as pension, retirement, I believe retirement planning is also one. Again, you can go back to targeting grandparents, people just 40 plus in general you could try. Um, and you can also target interests related to posture. So I would put posture into your detailed targeting box, hit suggestions and see what else Facebook has to offer. And with that being said, let's move on to product number four. Moving on to product number four is we have this heated neck massager. So I believe it actually heats and kind of massages your neck at the same time. If we jump into Drop Spy, we can see again, this is a tried and tested product over a significant period. Um, back in Saturday, September 19th, back in Saturday, um, back in September on the 19th, 2020, this is when this post was actually created and it was last seen today on March 1st. So it just goes to show um, a proven, tried and tested products with an evergreen audience, which will sell well consistently throughout the year, even more so in Q4 for many years to come. Let's take a look at the actual ad itself then and see what kind of strategy they've adopted. So this is all kind of B-roll footage. This looks like footage from a supplier on AliExpress, um, if I'm not mistaken. Nothing too difficult here to recreate. No user generated content. Judging by the actors, this looks like supplier generated content as well. This could be custom content that which they may have paid for potentially. 
Um, but all in all, pretty straightforward, which makes it a pretty easy product to get started with. And again, one of those things that um, as long as you've got the content and a bit of know-how when it comes to editing videos, you could have this up on your website and be advertising it in the next couple of hours. In the top right, if I draw your attention to the engagements, we can see 2.9 million views. Posts don't get this sort of views um, unless somebody's paying um, to use them as an actual ad. Just to confirm this as well, if we go to their Facebook page and take a look at how many followers they've got. So they've only got 10,000 followers. It doesn't get nearly 3 million views with only 10,000 followers unless they're paying to advertise with this product and use this post basically um, as the ad itself. As with all products though, it's only right to make sure we can find some people commenting on the post to say they've bought the product, some buyer's intent, um, some buyer's evidence. So straight away, Domic says he loves his amazing product. Um, this person says they've just received the order today and must say they're loving it, they're enjoying it. Um, Lizette says she's loving it, it's really working, awesome product. Heidi says she has this. Um, Asanka says that she has got one. Um, Poppy here is asking how it charges, so that's intent. How do I order that's intent? Um, this is exactly what I need, more intent, great machine. So as we can see, this person here is saying that she has one. Chris is saying that he has one. So many people have bought this product and that's exactly the perfect signs in which we're looking for um, before we choose a product to move forwards with and invest our time um, and money into putting the content together, a store together and advertising and testing the product. As for suppliers, there's lots and lots of different suppliers for this product. I would still adopt the same strategy I mentioned earlier on in the video, try and get a bit of traction of 20, 30 orders and then reach out to a supplier and ask for a better price. I've seen these before on offer um, in and around that sort of $21 mark. So it just goes to show you can get the price down a bit. Um, I would even approach, I believe CJ actually sell this product as well. So definitely check those guys out if you think about moving forwards um, with these guys. The reason why I chose these, they have nearly two and a half thousand orders. So they obviously know what they're doing. 4.7 stars and they actually offer free shipping US to US via USPS. Um, estimated delivery in four to 13 days, which is huge when it comes to building a brand um, and having a high customer retention rate. Moving on, let's take a look at the Shopify store that's selling this product. Um, the reason why I wanted to feature these guys in this video as well is because the strategy they adopt is super awesome and it's super effective. Um, if you have the budget to do it or better yet, the confidence to go on camera and talk about a product and how have a video like this on your product page. Um, I can guarantee the majority of people who come to this page will watch this video and then make the decision to buy there and then they won't go any further to look at this information. So let's take a quick look at this video so you can see the type of strategy in which I'm talking to or talking about, I should say. <laughs> So I don't know if you can actually hear it because of the mic that I'm using, but basically what she's talking about is she's just doing an unboxing video. You can find people on Viver who will do this exact type of video in this exact type of style for you for about 150 pounds, maybe a couple of hundred pounds. I think she's actually going on to show herself using the products, which is super important. Um, things like this do dividends for a business, for your brand. To have an actual real human being talking to a camera, showing how the product works, really helps humanize the brand, really helps you come across as professional and trustworthy. As for the profit margins then, no matter how good the product is, of course, we need to make sure we can make money. The cost is $28.79 in and around there, plus or minus a couple of dollars, depending on your supplier. I recommend a retail price of $50. If we take a look at these guys, they're selling it at 46 British pounds, which is about 60, $65 if I'm not mistaken. So you can still get away selling it quite cheaply and still leave yourself a pretty healthy profit margin in fact of over $20 per sale. As for the Facebook ad interest that I would recommend, all of the following here are ones you can actually target and I believe would be perfect um, for this product. So you can target neck. So people who have neck pain will be related to this. You have joint, old age, aging, engaged shoppers, therapy, healing, tension, headache, stress, and relaxation technique. And so with that being said, that is four products down. If you're still watching this video, I really do appreciate it. Thank you for sticking with me this long. Uh, make sure you let me know in the comment section below that you're still watching or hit a like on the video. And with that being said, let's jump into the fifth and final product. Okay, so moving on to the fifth and final product, we have this cat toy. Um, in my opinion, the easiest products to sell on social media are some form of pet toy because they're super easy to advertise, 
everybody loves to watch pets, cute little pets, having fun, doing something stupid, doing something daft, um, ultimately making people smile. Regardless of whether there's a product actually in the video that you're trying to sell to somebody, people will want to share that funny video with their partners or with their friends to bring joy to their life. It's definitely the easiest type of product to sell um, because they go crazy when it comes to engagement and things like that. It builds up super quick. Um, and I'll show you that in a second when we jump into the Facebook ad. Okay, so let's take a look at the Facebook ad. Now in my mind, I'm just gonna draw your attention quickly to the primary text at the top. They've just simply written out a paragraph um, it's not good practice. They could definitely improve this, but just goes to show because of the type of toy it is and because of the footage they've used, all these different cats playing with this toy, doing silly things, cute looking animals. It's the sort of thing that will always, always, always capture people's attention. Um, and this is reflected then in the amount of engagement that this post has. What's also important to know as well, which I'll show you in a second, is the price that they're selling this product at. For all the people watching this video, I realize not everybody has thousands of pounds to invest in their business, but this is a really cheap product that'd be really easy to get started with. Hence the reason why I wanted to put it in this video. Another important thing to keep in mind is the price in which they're selling this product for. It's a super cheap price, so it just goes to show how cheaply they're acquiring customers for. And of course, when it comes to the cat market, there's so many different other cat toys and cat products you can sell to use as upsells to boost your profit margins. That being said, let's jump into the actual comments itself. It's probably gonna be mainly people commenting their friends, wanting them to watch the video rather than actually buy the product, but let's see. So. Barrett is saying Millie would love this one, Becky, um, and then hasn't tagged anyone by the looks of it. Um, this would be fun at 3 a.m. Our cat loves his, so Lisa actually has one. And Pauline purchased one just now, lol, my cats will love it. So there's actual um, buyer's evidence, which is great. Somebody tagging their friend, somebody tagging their friend. Um, oh my God, got to get this for my kitties. So there's intent for you there. Somebody tagging their friend, somebody tagging their friend. What people forget is that pet owners tend to have friends or family that are also pet owners, which is another reason why pet products do so well on social media. Because when you see a funny video like this, the first thing you wanna do is tag your friend or tag that family member, which also has the same type as pet as you. So with that being said, let's take a look at the supplier for this product. Again, there's lots and lots of different suppliers selling this one. So finding content or finding a decent supplier wouldn't be difficult to do. These guys actually have some really good content. In fact, I believe this scene is actually in that video ad that we just watched. So it might even be a case that these guys haven't even paid for that content. They've just took different pieces of video online and kind of mashed it up and made their own ad, which makes it even cheaper and even quicker to get started with selling this product. Next up, let's take a look at the Shopify store selling this product. Um, it's a pretty generic store to be honest. There's nothing really special about it without being too harsh. They've followed a pretty default kind of um, layout and theme and kind of strategy for this product page. You could definitely take the information from this and using tools like WordTune, um, create some effective product descriptions pretty quickly. But to be honest, it doesn't matter how much you write about this product, it's gonna be the videos and the GIFs that actually sell it. As for the profit margins then to finish off this product, we saw the cost of it was $9.77. My recommended retail price would be $24.99, which would leave a profit margin of $15.22. Now, to be honest, this is on the small side Side. but going forwards once you had a bit of traction you could probably get the cost down from your supplier and it just goes to show so these guys if we go back to the price they're selling it for 20 pounds and they're buying it in and around for six or seven pounds they must be acquiring customers super super cheaply otherwise they wouldn't be able to sell it for so long successfully and still make a profit with the cat niche as i mentioned earlier too there's so many other products you can use and offer as an upsell to help bump up this profit margin and make it profitable on the front end and so with that being said then guys that is all five products i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope i've given you some good product ideas that you're excited about to move forwards with if you have any comments or questions about anything at all don't hesitate to get in touch leave a comment down below and i will reply to you one final quick message before you go if you are looking for a one-on-one -on -one mentorship program somebody to hold your hand through the whole kind of building a shop dropshipping business process and take you literally from scratch from day one having nothing and in 60 days having a fully fledged and functioning business which is bringing in consistent sales make sure you check out my ecom accelerator program we're currently full at the moment but there is a waiting list so make sure you get on that to be notified of when spaces become available if you'd like more information just comment the word accelerator down below and i'll send the link over to you thanks again for watching guys i'll see you in the next one